Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudubuyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is the 18th in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I will be demonstrating how to drain the water tanks that have been created by dumping sand onto, the, uh, onto a section of the cover. Uh, but if you're interested in seeing another part of the strategy in action, a link to the other videos in this series can be found in the description. Uh, in the past two uh, videos, I'd been AFK dumping sand onto this section of the cover over here. Uh, that's what's filled all the holes here and created this uh, big wall of sand over there. Um, uh, what I notice now, uh, the thing that I need to check after I'm fi after I've finished uh, uh, dumping the sand and then clearing off kind of a surface layer of sand here, is uh, whether any of the uh, stone platforms of the cover are completely surrounded by sand. And in this case, uh, here's one of those uh, one of those platforms uh, that ha have been completely surrounded by sand. Uh, that means the sand extends all the way down to the uh, ocean monument and creates an enclosed space of water that's just uh, ready for draining. Uh, so I'm going to start by draining this, uh, uh, this water tank here. Uh, first I'm going to grab the torch uh, and then I'm going to peel off this cover. Now there can be a significant number of guardians that have spawned inside, uh, inside of this tank. Uh, I think the most I've seen is maybe 10 or 11, <laughs> which is uh, really quite a lot, um, uh, but it's not unusual to see one or two. Um, I'll probably end up uh, uh, having to uh, fight a guardian at the bottom here. That's not really a big deal though. Okay, uh, now that I've got the lid uh, uh, removed from this water tank, uh, before I start to drain, uh, there are a couple of things that I need to do first. Uh, one, I need to identify actually the next water tank that will be drained, and uh, that's either a water tank of this section that's been uh, uh, that's been surrounded by sand uh, from uh, AFK dumping sand over this section, uh, or it will be a, a water tank of the next section. But I want to identify which one I intend to drain next, uh, because I need to. Uh, find one of the sand one of the columns of sand that basically forms part of the common wall between those two uh, between those two water tanks and I'm going to choose one uh, to place a ladder on and that's how I'm going to get back up here after I've drained the tank uh, once I've identified how I'm going to get back up uh, I'm going to take torches and I'm going to identify each one of the sand columns uh, of uh, surrounding this water tank uh, that I can remove, uh, and I can remove a sand column if um, uh, all of the water tanks that uh, that sand column forms part of the wall for uh, have been drained. Now, in this case, um, I, I can't reclaim any of the sand here, uh, and that's because this is the very first water tank that I'm draining, so uh, all of the columns of sand uh, participate as part of the wall for adjacent, uh, adjacent water tanks. Um, so uh, none of them are, are really ready to be reclaimed. So I don't have to mark those yet, but uh, I'll do that when I drain the next one. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm going to get some sugar canes ready, and I'm going to hop onto the middle column there. Uh, that is how I'm going to uh, drain, this, uh, drain this tank. I'm going to dig all the way down, just standing on that column. I'm going to dig all the way down with my sugar canes, uh, placing a sponge every couple of blocks, and that will remove exactly two layers of water from here. So let me jump onto the uh, center here. Okay. And I'm standing uh, roughly in the middle, and that's because I need to be ready to place uh, sugar canes in case I see any guardians around. So I can hide in the sugar canes and, and uh, avoid um, them targeting me or break off uh, an attack. Um, before it does any damage. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down two blocks of sand uh, with my sugar canes. And I'm going to place my sugar canes again. Then I'm going to switch to the sponge and I'm going to break the sugar canes. I'm going to, uh, the water is going to come flowing back in and I'm going to swim up while I place the sponge. And then I'll immediately switch to my sugar canes and dig the sponge out and place the sugar canes again. So I break the sugar canes, swim up, place a sponge, switch back to the sugar canes, and divide the sponge. That uh, I can do that 
um, in less than four seconds, uh, which means that uh, even if uh, there's a guardian down there that decides to target me, uh, it uh, its uh, attack is not going to uh, complete before I break it off w uh, by uh, hiding inside sugar canes. So break the sugar canes, dig two blocks of sand down with the sugar canes, and replace the sugar canes. Switch to the sponge, break the sugar canes, swim up, place a sponge, switch to the sugar canes, and replace the sugar canes. Uh, and so I'm going to do that all the way down to the bottom here. Now, if there are any guardians down here, they're probably all the way down at the bottom. I just saw one over there. Uh, and that's because uh, when guardians aren't actively swimming around, they sink. Uh, and since there's not a whole lot of water in here, relatively speaking, there's not a lot of room for them to swim around, which means they're probably all just going to sink to the bottom. Eventually, as I get close to the bottom and they can see me a little bit better, they will be targeting me. Yeah, see there's one that was targeting me right there, but um, I can uh, do this, uh, uh, do each piece of this in less than four seconds, so there's no possible way that, um, uh, unless I mess up, there's no possible way that they can actually complete an attack on me. So there's at least one guardian down there. There he is. I'm not quite sure where he thinks he's going. Oh, there's two guardians at least. So um, now um, I'm going to uh, break the sugar canes with the sponge, swim up as I place the sponge, switch to the sugar canes, and dig out the sponge before replacing the sugar canes. Dig two more blocks of sand. Okay, how many guardians are down there? One, two. Yeah, not too bad. Um, like I said, I've seen. Uh, oh, there, looks there's there's three. I've seen lots more. Now they're going to be targeting me all the time. That's fine. They can't. Uh, their attacks aren't going to complete on me. Uh, so now I'm I'm close enough where I could probably remove the rest of the water just by placing a sponge on the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, the guardians are going to hop around because they don't have any water. Uh, oh, it looks like there's one source block of water over there. Um, uh, these uh, these other guardians that are kind of hopping around here, uh, I'm going to take care of them with lava before I uh, before I take care of that guy there. Um, uh, and uh, of the things that I have with me, uh, exactly nothing is flammable. Uh, so sugar canes, um, uh, doors, not even dry sponges are flammable. Uh, so I don't have to worry about uh, lava consuming every, anything uh, or um, uh, or starting any fires, uh, which is uh, which is convenient. Um, the only thing that I have to worry about uh, is lava consuming any items that have been left on the floor here. Uh, and there's not a whole lot that I'm really worried about. Uh, I wouldn't particularly care if uh, some sugar canes got consumed by lava, if a sugar cane item uh, got consumed by lava, uh, or even a sand item. Uh, um, I, although I kind of want to protect my sand as a resource, wouldn't really care if uh, one or two sand got consumed by lava. Uh, the real uh, thing that I need to be protective about is my sponges because I have a very limited quantity of those. Uh, there's not really any way for me to replenish that other than raiding another ocean monument. Uh, and so I'm going to be absolutely certain that there's no sponge items uh, lying anywhere on the bottom of the water tank uh, before I decide to take care of guardians with lava. All right, so I'm going to redden my doors, and I'm just going to go into one of the alcoves. That's the uh, the, the narrow parts of this uh, of this water tank here. Uh, I'm going to throw down a door, okay. and from here I can ready my lava and just place lava out on the, on the floor here. The guardians jump around, and eventually they will uh, they will jump into the lava. Uh, 
and uh, doesn't take too long to kill these guys with lava. Uh, so that's two guardians down. Um, the other one, I'm probably going to take care of that one with lava as well, and I'll just dig out that uh, water block as uh, stone. Let me hop up here just to be certain. Yeah, he's not very happy. Okay, coming out. That um, uh, that water uh, water source block got turned to stone by the lava. That's fine. I'll dig that one with a pickaxe. And all the lava is gone. Get my sponge. Grab my door. Okay. Uh, and now the only thing that's left to do, um, this uh, particular water tank isn't uh, at the edge of the ocean monument. It's not over the ocean floor. Um, this is just all completely on the ocean monument. So there's nothing else to do down here uh, except go back up. Uh, and I can see where I left my ladder. That marks how I get back up. Okay, uh, so I'm back up on, on the top here, ready to take care of, uh, of the next water tank. Uh, now, this water tank here is also complete. It's a bit hard to tell because the sand wall um, uh, is kind of covering some of the, uh, some of the tank, but uh, it is complete. Uh, all the holes of this particular tank are filled, so that's the next one I'm going to take care of. Uh, grab the torch and then just start peeling off the lid here. Now some of the uh, some of the lid of this particular tank uh, is actually underneath the um, uh, this big wall of sand, and I'm just going to break these blocks and let this sand fall down into the water tank, and that is potentially going to uh, fill um, some of the area around the ocean monument uh, down to the ocean floor, so that um, uh, it creates a, a level area around the ocean monument. Okay. Uh, and now it has, uh, you can see that my water tank has that nice uh, diamond shape to it again. Okay, um, that's the uh, lid all completely uh, taken off. Uh, now I need, I need to um, identify how I'm going to get back up. Uh, the next water tank that I'm going to drain is actually over here. Um, it's almost completely under the sand wall, just uh, one block of it is peeking out, uh, but this, uh, this line of sand does continue over here, and likewise this line of sand continues over here, and it isolates a, a partial stone platform, one that had been trimmed off, uh, basically uh, almost completely underneath the wall. Uh, that's the one that I'm going to take care of next, and so um, this um, uh, this block here uh, has a, uh, a common side, so this is how I'm going to get back up. Place my ladder here, and now I need to identify all of the um, all of the sand columns that I'm going to tear down when I'm down there. Uh, those are the ones that uh, will not have any water adjacent to them after I've drained the water from this tank. So uh, that's this one, this one, and this one here. Uh, all of those sand columns can come down uh, after I've um, uh, after I've drained the water from this tank. And, and notice that my ladders here, um, when I take this sand column down, I'm going to get all those ladders uh, ladders back because they're just going to pop off as items. All right, so get my sugar canes ready. There can be guardians in this tank. Probably they're all going to be at the bottom. Okay, hop over here, dig down one block, safe inside the sugar canes. So I'm going to break the sugar canes, dig down two blocks, and replace the sugar canes. Get my sponge ready, swim up, place a sponge, dig it out, and sugar canes. Don't see any guardians yet, um, but again, uh, they tend to hide down at the bottom.
nothing yet. I saw something down there. Let's see. I haven't been targeted yet, so and I think this one is uh, I think this one is clear. I don't think that there are any guardians down there. Yep, I think this one is clear. Uh, okay, and now I'm going to uh, go ahead and get a sponge ready and just uh, throw something down here to clear out the remaining water. There we go. Uh, looks like there's a little bit left. Um, looks like it's going to require one more sponge. There we go. Okay, no guardians down here. That's uh, good news. Go ahead and gather my sponge. And um, now this sand over here, um, so this was part of the column, uh, this sand right here is actually part of the sand that uh, fell from the uh, fell from the wall when I broke the uh, stone underneath it, uh, and I'm going to want to dig this out to uh, to layer uh, um, uh, so that I'm standing at an altitude of 40 when I'm standing on the sand. So I'm going to level it off. There we go, and um, I, the sand should basically be uh, be one block below uh, these prismarine bricks here. Um, if I dig out one more block of sand, um, it's just going to be raw prismarine, not prismarine bricks. Uh, let me go ahead and place that sand back. Okay, uh, and. Uh, uh, and if I check my uh, altitude here, uh, you can see that my uh, Y coordinate is 40. Uh, that's, uh, that's where I want to dig that sand out to, uh, and that's going to be my little path that goes all the way around the ocean monument when all is said and done. Uh, okay, so uh, now that I'm down here, before I go back up, I check all of the uh, uh, columns of sand that have been marked by torches. And I'm going to take my uh, torch, uh, uh, or at least one torch here, and I'm going to dig out these sand columns, placing the torch at the same time I break this block so that the entire column uh, falls and breaks on the torch. There we go. Get all the sand back, uh, take the torch back. Now the same thing here. Oh, missed that one. Let's try again. There we go. Now I have to, I'm doing this right now with the mouse, um, but I have to say that I have had uh, better luck uh, with the timing of placing the torch here. Uh, as soon as the uh, block of sand breaks, I've had a little bit better luck um, uh, using uh, by remapping the uh, place block command to a, a key rather than a mouse button. Uh, okay, that's all of the um, all of the sand columns that had been marked by torches. Uh, now I find the sand column that had been marked by a ladder, uh, and that is my way back up. So right here. Okay. Uh, now there's uh, one more completed uh, water tank. Uh, left to go. Uh, that's the one that's almost completely hidden under the wall here. Uh, I'm going to take its torch and then I'm going to start uh, digging it out, letting that sand fall. Now these, um, uh, these tanks here that are up against the wall um, uh, um, there are two different types of them. Uh, one that has the central uh, sand column, or what would have been the central sand column if this uh, stone platform hadn't been trimmed off to uh, make sure that the cover was uh, 64 by 64. Um, and uh, there's another version of this uh, where that includes only uh, these blocks here, so it doesn't include that back row of blocks, and, and so the sand pillar is missing. 
Um, the ones where the sand pillar is missing, guardians should not spawn in there because none of the volume of water is uh, none of the water is actually inside the volume of the ocean monument. Uh, so those smaller water tanks, guardians shouldn't spawn in there. Uh, guardians still have a small possibility of spawning inside here. Uh, um, that's uh, unlikely, but um, but it still can happen. So. Um, uh, I will need to take precautions here as well. Um, I'm going to uh, take down the sand here just so I have a nice place to uh, a nice place to stand. Okay, uh, hop over here, get my sugar canes ready, and uh, now here this is one of these partial water tanks that's against the the wall um, uh, where the uh, where the ocean is. Um, these ones uh, get cleared out a little bit differently. The sponges, I'm using the sponges a little less efficiently, uh, but there are only 16 of these tanks around the periphery of the, uh, of the cover, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, and I'm going to hit um, a, a sponge right over here in this corner. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, dig out uh, three blocks of sand. I can replace my sugar canes in case there are any guardians in here. Probably not, though. Uh, and now three blocks down from this sponge, uh, there's that's one, two, and three uh, over in this line here. I'm going to place a sponge over in this corner here. Okay. Now dig down one, two, three blocks, and um, hit this corner, which is uh, three blocks down from that sponge over there. Dig down three more blocks. Replace my sugar canes and another sponge over here. Uh, that's three blocks down from this one over here. And sponge over here. Dig three blocks down. And uh, uh, last sponge here that clears out the remaining water. It looks like there's just a little bit over there. That's fine. Okay, so I've got a tiny bit of water over there. Um, I'll probably clean that out with a bucket. Probably would want a bucket of water as I came down here anyway. Um, now uh, uh, this uh, wall over here um, and. Uh, I actually forgot to uh, forgot to mark the wall, uh, which walls are going to take down. Uh, so I'll uh, have to come back here anyway. Um, uh, but uh, now that I'm actually hitting the wall over here, uh, I'm going to be placing down some um, uh, uh, placing down some water. So, uh, but let me first uh, dig out the sand to uh, layer 40. There's uh, some sand to dig out because uh, I was a bit conservative with respect to um, uh, with respect to estimating the maximum ocean depth. So uh, it's probably not uh, uh, it's probably not 32 blocks. That's my estimated maximum ocean depth. It's probably something uh, uh, less than that, but um, uh, that gives me a good margin for error. So. Okay, and uh, continuing to dig out to layer 40. All right, I'm now standing at an altitude of 40 because I can see uh, I, my sand is now one uh, block below these prismarine bricks. Uh, and I do need to get back up, uh, but I did forget to mark, um, uh, mark my path back up, so I'm just going to choose something arbitrarily. Um, actually, um, probably the next uh, uh, the next um, water tank I take out is probably going to be one of these. Uh, but in these uh, side sections, my sponges do kind of get left up there. I, I probably could have uh, uh, broken them as I was coming down, uh, but I didn't. So I'm going to do that here, and then I'll just come back down and, and get them. I reach that one yet. And this one here. And I think that there are 
there's just one left there. Okay, uh, so I'll, I'll break that one and then go back down and, and get them. I'm going to return to the top so that I can uh, figure out which um, sand columns to take down. Uh, all right, so uh, the ones that can come down um, include uh, the one that I just put my ladders on. Uh, let me actually mark the the next um, the next one that's going to come down. Uh, so probably uh, after I dump sand over the next section, I'll probably um, uh, remove this water tank. So I'm going to place a, a ladder here. That will be my way back up. And let me go mark the uh, columns that I'm going to take down now. I'm going to take down, uh, well, uh, I'm going to take down this column and this column. And uh, can I take down that column over there? You need to be absolutely certain. Uh, you don't want to take down a column that is not ready to be taken down. Uh, okay, so yeah, I can uh, I can take this one down. I'm going to mark it with a torch. And I'll head back down with my bucket of water here. Make sure to get the uh, sponges that I broke. Uh, sponges being pretty valuable. Okay, uh, make sure that I have 29 of those. That's how many, how many I started with. Uh, and I probably should have been cooking some of these in a furnace as I've been going along, but uh, I've been so intent on demonstrating how to drain these water tanks, I haven't been thinking about how to optimize uh, sponge drying. Uh, okay, so this column needs to come down. There we go. Grab my torch and this column is marked with a torch as well. I can take this one down. Make sure to get all these ladders. And this column here is marked with a torch. I can take that one down. Okay. Uh, now I'm ready to go back up. There's my ladder indicating my way back up. Uh, but uh, this is a part of the ocean monument that I have um, uh, I've uh, 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 placed sand around. Uh, this is actually not part of the volume of the ocean monument, uh, which means a number of things. Um, first, it means that um, if I place water here, um, uh, uh, doesn't matter how deep the water is, guardians cannot spawn uh, outside of, uh, in this area because it's outside the volume of the ocean monument. Uh, the second thing to note is that um, uh, regular mo hostile mobs can now spawn over here. So at night, if this isn't lit up, um, uh, uh, or in this case covered with water, if it's, if it's dry and, and dark, uh, hostile mobs can spawn here, skeletons, zombies, and such. Um, so putting water down here uh, does a number of things to kind of protect me. One, it prevents uh, other hostile mobs from spawning here. Um, uh, two, it, um, it, it acts as a, sort of a safety net in case I fall from up there. Uh, I can kind of shoot for this water down here. Uh, and three, it uh, prevents Endermen from teleporting in here and stealing sand uh, from the sand walls. Now, Endermen can still teleport up here and grab sand from over here. There's not a whole lot that I can do about that. Um, but um, this does afford me a little bit of protection. So uh, every time I clear out water tanks that bring me to this temporary sand retaining wall over here, um, I'm going to put water down uh, just as a precaution. Okay. Uh, now there's my ladder over there. And it's time to uh, head back up. Okay, um, so that's all of the uh, water tanks that had been completed by um, uh, by filling uh, uh, by uh, doing the sand dumping for this particular section of the cover. Uh, at this point, 
Um, none of the wall would come down, uh, and that's because there's not uh, fully two sections of wall to either side. Uh, so that's going to stay there for now, and I would just move on to the next section of this particular group of sections of the cover. Um, uh, there is, uh, however, one other shape of water tank that I want to demonstrate uh, removing. So I'm going to um, uh, put down uh, some temporary sand in another section uh, that uh, is kind of out of order uh, just to demonstrate how to uh, drain the water from that tank. So I'll see you over there in just a minute. Okay, I'm over on another side of the monument. Um, I just finished uh, removing, uh, draining the water tanks uh, from over there. Um, but I'm over here um, temporarily. I just uh, set this up um, in order to, de to demonstrate uh, how to drain water from that other partial water tank. Um, because now I'm over on the side of the monument uh, where I've got these uh, small water tanks here. Um, this lacks the uh, central column that would be here. Uh, so these are much uh, much smaller than uh, uh, than the other partial water tanks. Uh, this uh, section has several completed water tanks. This is one of them here. There's another here, uh, the back of which is kind of hidden uh, um, by the uh, uh, by the sand wall here. Uh, but there's another one that I can't actually actually see any of the blocks here. Um, let me go back into uh, uh, and back into survival mode, uh, and it's uh, it's it starts right behind this block of sand here. So if I dig this out, I can see the um, I can see the stone of that uh, of that water tank, uh, and so I'm going to uh, start by removing this guy here, and now I should be able to uh, uh, to finish digging this out. Now, in these uh, very small water tanks, uh, no guardians should be able to spawn in here at all. Uh, and that is because they, um, uh, none, of the, uh, none of the water here is inside the volume of the ocean monument. So um, I shouldn't have to uh, worry about, about guardian spawning in here. And I say shouldn't because uh, there was one time where I actually did see a guardian in here in, in my testing. I have no idea how it got in. Uh, I've done lots and lots of testing on this, and, that it was, and it was just the once, so it was kind of a freak occurrence. I wouldn't actually expect guardians to be in here. Um, so I, um, this one, I don't have any central uh, uh, column to stand on in order to drain it. Um, so I'm going to do uh, the standard thing with uh, uh, marking my way back up. Um, in this case, um, <laughs> I, I've kind of trapped myself here. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm, it's just going to be right here. I'm not going to be. Uh, I'm not going to mark any uh, walls for removing because I'm not going to remove any of them. Uh, and I'm just going to uh, jump into the water here. And I'm going to drop a sponge in the middle of the uh, that long wall there, uh, right at the top, and, and that should uh, remove an even amount of water. Okay, uh, all the way down here, and uh, you can see that there's no no flowing water in here whatsoever. It basically just removed, uh, I think, six layers of water. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it removes six layers of water at a time. So. Uh, I'm going to remove another six layers here. Now, because it's removing six layers, um, if it removes all of the water and, and it's six layers down there, I'm going to take fall damage. So as I get close to the bottom, I'm going to have to be a little careful if I don't want to uh, don't want to lose some hearts there. Okay, it looks like there's still at least six layers in here, so I'm safe uh, putting another another sponge. And uh, now at this point, I'm at the bottom. Um, I can just uh, uh, remove the rest of the water there, and uh, and that's it. So uh, these uh, these smaller ones are pretty easy to remove. They only require uh, four sponges to clear out, uh, so not too bad. I'm actually, placing a bunch of extra ladders there. Um, so I'm going to uh, uh, climb back up here and uh, retrieve my and uh, break my sponges, and then head back down and retrieve them. There we go. It's a little bit slow because I'm clinging to the ladder. 
Okay, so there we go. Um, these sections are pretty easy to clear out. Um, uh, again, they only require a few sponges, uh, and I follow the same procedure for uh, marking how I'm going to get back up and uh, marking any uh, common columns that I'm going to take down while I'm down there. Um, uh, the one thing that I didn't do while I was down there uh, that I probably should have, uh, this is part of the temporary sand retaining wall, and so that uh, sand that you see down there, um, the first thing I would want to do is dig that out to layer 40. Uh, I didn't. Um, uh, just because I was demonstrating how to drain the tank, not to uh, not to level off um, uh, not to level off the sand around the monument, and I'd want to also put some water uh, down there to prevent uh, mob spawning and um, uh, other things like Enderman teleportation. And, um, but um, uh, I covered that over there, so I think we're all I think we're all good. Those are the three shapes of water tanks that I have. There's the full diamond. Uh, there's the uh, water tanks that are uh, against the uh, uh, against the sand retaining wall that include that central uh, or what would be a central sand uh, uh, pillar, and there are these partial water tanks without the uh, central sand pillar. So uh, I think that's uh, I think that's all that needs to be said. There are uh, a couple of special cases. Uh, there are some times uh, when you will get all the way down to um, uh, to the bottom of a water tank. Uh, and clear it out and there will still be flowing water uh, and that's uh, spilling in from another water tank and that's because there are some arches uh, that will prevent the sand uh, that gets uh, fills these holes from uh, uh, cutting off the water uh, flow between tanks um, but it's pretty easy to just uh, dump a couple of blocks of sand and, and uh, uh, finish, uh, finish off the tank manually. Uh, and that is it for this video then. Um, uh, I, I was going to talk a little bit about uh, the special case in dealing with the path uh, at the front of the ocean monument, but this video is already getting pretty long, so I think I'm going to cut it off here. Uh, and um, that's it then for this video. Uh, uh, thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please leave a note in the comments.